Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn about CSF Pathways. Before learning about cerebrospinal fluid pathways, we should be familiar about the ventricles and choroid plexus in the brain. The ventricles are cavities within the brain. This is the picture of the lateral view of the brain and this is the anterior view and you can see the pictures of the ventricles that is cavities or space within the brain. There are lateral ventricles that is C-shaped ventricle and that is present in each cerebral cortex. There are third ventricle it is located just above the brain stem that's here that is third ventricle and that is funnel shaped now the next is fourth ventricle it is diamond shaped and it runs along the brain stem so there are lateral ventricles third ventricle and fourth ventricle now coming to choroid plexus choroid plexus are epithelial cells found in the lateral third and fourth ventricle which produce the CSF so the choroid plexus are epithelial cells and they originate, they are the parts of pia mater. Pia mater are the meningeal layer that is the innermost layer which is adherent to the brain and the spinal cord. So it originates from the pia mater and it's present in all the ventricles. This is choroid plexus is highly vascular and it produces cerebrospinal fluid. Now coming back to cerebrospinal fluid pathways, cerebrospinal fluid is produced by the choroid plexus in the lateral ventricles and from the lateral ventricle it flows to the third ventricle through a canal, canal called interventricle foramen or foramen of Monroe. Now from the third ventricle it flows to fourth ventricle again through a canal that's called cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of sylvius from fourth ventricle it enters the subarachnoid space through foramen of magenti and lushka this is also called median and lateral aperture and in subarachnoid space csf floats around brain and around spinal cord now the CSF is absorbed back into the venous circulation by arachnoid villi. Villi are like finger-like projections. It absorbs the CSF back into the venous circulation. Now let's review CSF pathways. So the choroid plexus in the lateral ventricle produce CSF. From lateral ventricle it flows to third ventricle through interventricle foramina. From third ventricle it flows to fourth ventricle through cerebral aqueduct. And from fourth ventricle, it goes into subarachnoid space through lateral and median aperture. And in subarachnoid space, arachnoid villi absorbs the CSF to the venous circulation, which goes into systemic circulation back to the arterial blood. And this circulation goes to choroid plexus, where this choroid plexus again produces CSF. So today we learned about CSF pathways and thanks for watching my video.